Zakari. chapter 2 verse 9 and I know thy work and the tribulation and poverty but thou art rich and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews the blasphemy the filthy disgusting lies them that say they are Jews that's right and are not and that's not. right so what are they but I the synagogue of Satan that's and right and in the synagogue you're the synagogue of Satan the chief house of Satan Go ahead, go ahead. It's a Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. But what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, could you march right up to him like you was going to do something to him? All right, walk around there. Walk, don't walk right into people. What's wrong with you? Walk around. Did anybody run up on you? No. Why are you acting like an idiot, man? Why you talk to me? Because you walked into him. I'll preach to me then. I'll preach you. you. you Alright, come around here. I'll preach to you. I'll preach to you right now. Come around here. No, preach to me. You are surrounding me already. Yeah, because you walked, walked up, up. You, you walked up aggressively. We thought now you were gonna walk. do something. Now walk. You want us to now preach walk. to you? Do you now want walk. us to preach to you or now do you want walk. us to hurt you? Which one do you want? You want us to preach to you? I we'll preach to you. Pray for me. Alright, come over here. Come over here, bro. I want you to pray for me. Bro, come over here. I'm gonna tell you where I gotta stand. Brother, all right, can, 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 we, can we deal with each other? Can we deal with each other like brothers? Can we deal with each other like brothers? Are you my brother? All right, can I get a pound? Can we be peaceful? Can we come, can we come around here and just talk decently like brothers? Brother, but then, see, we have our back, we, then we'll have our back to traffic, see what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we like to be able to deal with who's walking up. So if you could please, if you don't mind, brother, I'm asking you nicely. I'm asking you nicely. I'm, I'm asking you nicely. Can we, can we please continue the conversation over here? We're, we're more comfortable with it. As, as, as my brother, as my, I, 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 I thought I did consider your comfortability when I just defused the situation, gave you a pound to call to my brother. Now, can you play, can you, can you, can you, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Why not? Do you believe in the Bible? Are you aware that, well, first let me ask you, what's, what's your uh, ethnicity? Native American? Uh, was just a guess, alright. Did you know that the Native American, as well as the blacks and Hispanics, are the Israelites according to the Bible? That's about it. Well, I, we're here to tell you that as a Native American, you are God's chosen people. And you were made better than everybody else on earth. Everybody. Right. And he gave Israelites an upright heart. He didn't give Edomites. How you doing? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? So, give me, give me um, Genesis 49. I'll show you a prophecy about your tribe, the tribe of Gad. All right? I know, I know your tribe according to the Bible. I don't know your tribe according to the map of North America. I don't know that. That is incorrect, sir. My family was never in South Africa. My, 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 most of us were brought over here from West Africa, but we fled into West Africa from the Levant. My, my tribe, not really, that's pretty far away. Well, my right continent, I guess. Uh, well, where are you from? Do you know mine? I'm from the United States. See? I'm Native American. Right. You guys are way the fuck away. Okay. Well, how do you, you get it? Do, do you know how you yeah, got over here? Right? When did Native Americans first arrive in the continent? That's not my tribe either. When, when did Native Americans first arrive over here? <laughs> Alright, take care. Take care. Native Americans first arrived over here during the Assyrian tattoo. Alright. So at one point in time, we were together in the same room, back in Jerusalem, back in Israel, all right? My tribe, I come from the tribe of Levi. That's what God called us, all right? This brother, he's from the tribe of Judah. This brother's well, from the tribe of Judah. I mean, what's your tribe? You're, you're Christian or? No, no, I'm an Israelite. That's right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Israelite. Okay. Give me Genesis 49. Yeah. Right. This is Genesis 49 and 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him. 
so now, as a Native American, did a troop of people at some point in time yeah, come and overcome you? Did, did, did white people come over here and take over your land? Yes, right? They came over here, they, they, they acted like they were nice, they gave, they gave gifts that were laced with, with diseases, and then they slaughtered people in their sleep, and then they cemented machine guns in order to combat with you because your warrior spirit was too much for them to deal with on their own. They had to come up with the Gatling gun just to get over them. So a troop did come over and overtake you. Go ahead. But he shall overcome at the last. But, but the prophecy says, you will overcome at the last. So right now, the white man is still in charge of your land, but there will come a day where you overthrow them. That's Did right. Did you know that that was in the Bible? Did you know that God would fight on your side against oh. the devil that we know as the white man God. that he created to hate and destroy? This is the best preaching you've ever heard in your life. This is better than anything you ever got in the Christian church, I promise. Because it's coming straight out of the Bible. That's what they do in the Christian church, all they do is they sing sweet songs and tell you nice things and everybody get along. But the Bible ain't like that. The Most High God ain't like that. He created a, 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 a nation of people, Israelites, 12 tribes, known today as the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be better than everybody else, that he would bless them and love them as long as we did what we were supposed to do. And what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to keep his commandments. Let me do the wrong thing. Once you know you're an Israelite, that's not enough, right? You still have to do your part as an Israelite. We have a debt to pay to the military God. We own him. So what do we require of him? We. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, but which I command thee this day for thy good. Yeah, so these commandments that he gave us as far as good, and we turned our back on thinking that we knew better than the whole time. Serving other gods, serving bear spirits and earth turtles and all kinds of weird stuff that we've been doing, right? What we need to do is we need to focus on serving the creator that made us in the first place. That's why we're here. We. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. God. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's right. For this is the whole duty of man. So that's what we're supposed to be living our life by. That's what we are supposed to live our lives by. Because we read this book. Now, when we were in the Christian church, they didn't read the stuff. They said the Old Testament's done away with. The law is done away with. Don't worry about any of that stuff. But all throughout the Bible, we see that if we don't keep the commandments, we stay on the bottom. Now, why would they tell us these things? To keep us on the bottom. Because the person that created and runs those Christian churches is the white man that stole your land in the first place. That's right. They enslaved your people, enslaved my people, enslaved these people. They want us on the bottom because they put a nice face on us. They want to act like, oh yeah, everybody's all equal, everybody's the same. But living in day-to-day -day life, you know we're not treated the same. You're not treated the same as a white man, and neither am I. Oh. Really, they're treated better when, according to the Bible, they should be treated worse. That's they're beneath us. That's Give me Joe Buddy and Now, we don't smoke good words, brother, because the Bible says that our body is a temple, which means that your body is a temple as well. You do not smoke. You do not smoke. Uh, okay, sorry. We can. This is the book of Job, chapter 30, and verse 1. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold, hold on for me. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If a, be if, 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 you, if a beautiful woman came up to you and wanted to sleep with you, wanted to be with you forever, but she told you that she had AIDS, would you still sleep with her? Wow. Wow, well, I guess that is about the same thing as smoking a cigarette. Right on the side of the pack, it tells you it's going to give you cancer. So you would willingly take in cancer and willingly take in AIDS. You know what that is, brother? That is the hatred of yourself. We love you. We don't want you to get cancer. We don't want you to get AIDS. I love the woman. If I love her... I didn't say you uh, love her. This is just some beautiful woman that walked up... Are you to be with me? No, no. I don't just think. Okay, I good. gotta care for her. I okay. love her. Okay. okay.